In this simple demonstration of sheet metal tab, we see that uh, we have several um, edges that we want to go ahead and select. So we want to extend uh, more options. So in this case, we want to go ahead and just start selecting each one of those edge. And then as we select each one, we want to go to the next set. And then as we select each set, as we add more and more, currently every one of those set has identical information for the input parameters. Let's go ahead and expand that. We see that we have similar length, all that's on the inside, and then all the um, different type of uh, inset is uh, set to uh, uh, materials on the uh, on the inside, on the outside, and then uh, on inside, outside mold line. So we see that as we change each one of those, we see we have a different results of each one. We notice that the uh, bend on the uh, inside and bend on inside mold line on a 90 degree bend has identical information or results. Let's go ahead and change that. What if we extend that to greater than 90, go up to 135? We notice that we begin to see a little bit of difference begin to take place when it comes to the material on the inside versus material on the inside outside mold line. We see that uh, as the material is being followed through, it has to stay within the outside mold line, therefore, greater degrees of bend, further it has to move in to uh, support that. Let's see, go ahead and add another uh, flange. This time we see in uh, the new function in uh, um, this case, we have the new um, include the uh, relief width. So what that does is gives ability to add that in the consideration. This concludes our demonstration.